everyone and welcome back to the Pika Show cover. In today's guide video we will introduce you to troop upkeep and the ways you can reduce it to zero. First on the list we will look at your alliance. Staying in your alliance territory will give you 65% of the total upkeep reduction. Another thing that is crucial for keeping it low is the alliance research. Under the development section of your alliance tech, there is an efficiency skill which is divided into three parts. The first efficiency skill will give you a minus 5% upkeep reduction. The second efficiency skill gives you a minus 7.5% upkeep reduction. And researching the last of the efficiency skill will also give you an additional minus 12.5% of your upkeep. This gives you a total of minus 25% in total from completing this research in your alliance technology. So eventually the 25% from the max efficiency skill in your alliance research and the 65% of being in the borders of your alliance territory would make it a 90% reduction of food being consumed by your troops. The last 10% you can get from is from the individual research in your university under the development section for upkeep reduction. There are two skills in there with 5% each for troop reduction once they are both fully researched. The total of being in your alliance territory, max efficiency skills in your alliance research and individual research means your upkeep will be zero. The second way to get the upkeep to a bearable level or zero is using heroes and equipment. Having Elander White or Lady Ceres appointed, depending on which one you have developed the most, will help you reduce your upkeep. With Elander White, the troop upkeep will be up to minus 8%, and with Lady Ceres it will be up to minus 7.2%. In terms of equipment, you can put on the Boots of Fortune, which will give you a total of minus 8%, but you will need 100 Fortune Ingots to forge. However, the other easier option if you do not have the Fortune Ingots would be the Galahad Boots, under the Prosperity set in the Economy Equipment section. This will give you a minus 7.5% of the total troop upkeep. You can obtain the Galahad boots via the battle ingots instead which you can get by barbarian camps and monsters. With both the heroes and equipment and also depending on what you choose for your setup, this will give you a total of minus 15.5% in troop upkeep. With this setup plus individual research and staying in your alliance territory but without the max alliance research on efficiency skill will give you at least 90% of upkeep reduction which is still bearable if you do not have that many troops trained. Another way to reduce your upkeep would be the upkeep reduction buff from the city buff section. You can get these buffs in two ways. Firstly, you can get the buffs via event rewards, or secondly, by paying some gold, either buying a 3-day troop upkeep using 1400 gold, or 7 days for 2800 gold, or even the 24-hour upkeep reducer which you can also get from events. These are all at 25%. There is also a 50% upkeep reducer. For a 24 hour upkeep reducer, you will need to spend 900 gold. For 3 days, for a 50% upkeep reducer, it would be 2500 gold. And for 7 days, a 50% upkeep reducer, it will require 5000 gold. From what we have mentioned earlier, you can mix all those options as you please, depending on what you have available and what your needs are. It will depend whether your kingdom is a peaceful one, so you can switch your equipment and so on. These are all the different options available to you for troop upkeep.
We hope this information will help you to get your upkeep under control and save some of the food from the daily gathering that you may do. We hope you enjoyed this and found it informative. Thank you all for watching the video and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and please stay tuned for more guide videos to come.